everybody. We have Alana Starr, stylist from TV Networks and VH1, and we're going to go through today her favorite pieces from the Mimi collection and the Sorelli Classic collection. Mimi. It's hard to pick favorites because I right. have everything. For We've got some reasons. great medals this season. I love mixing medals too. Not many people do it, and I'm a big silver gold fan. So. Lion, absolutely, because I'm a Leo, so ah, I have perfect. a soft spot for anything with lions on it. And then these shield pieces are amazing, like very tribal inspired, very which, right now. Yes, yes. yes, all these jewel tones mixed, they just scream holiday to me. All you need is like a simple black dress, solid color, and then put on a statement necklace and you are done for any holiday party that you have to go to. And so same thing with statement earrings. If you're not big on anything around your neck, any of these are so beautiful, these jewel tones. The purples and teals mixed, eggplant stunning, so perfect for holiday 2011. Yeah, and for any time too. It just doesn't have to be holiday. It's just a way to show some personality, yeah. I think. Now I know that you dress a lot of celebrities for red carpet right. events, so I would really love to get your take on maybe a couple of outfits and what pieces would work best for those. So maybe we'll start with everyone's favorite, the little black dress. Yes. We do like a black little short shift. What do you think would be the best? It's piece all to about personality, so whatever you want to showcase or what your favorite colors are. I have to say I dress a lot of the talent on the red carpet interviewing yeah. all those celebrities, so something like this would be amazing because it's they still hold off. what I mean. Yeah, this would be front and center and you just want to... So do you think silver is best to kind of arm. pop off of black, or do you think gold is better? You know, it all depends. It really depends on skin tone when yeah. I'm dressing people. Like if they're if they have caramel skin tones already, I t I usually wouldn't go for a brass. I'd go for a silver because yeah. I'd pop yeah, more or a brighter gold in the Mimi collection. But um, it, it really depends what the outfit is. Definitely. And then there are lots of bright colors coming neons, even for Resort 2011, which, which is what I was going to ask. You, you know, sometimes what works for black doesn't yeah. always work for bright, bright colors. So what if you have totally. highlighter pink? Highlighter pink short dress, what would you do? I mean, I, you know, I love gold and hot pink together, but it takes off. Great. It, yes. I'm hot telling you, trending it, trending it. <laughs> but it takes like a really strong personality to pull that off, so safety I think would be silver. Yeah, but right. says in only cops. Yeah, I, I'm not a big earring, necklace, bracelet yeah, person. I always say <laughs> take one off before you leave the house. Exactly, it's great to mix and match, which is why I love the mixed metals. But, um, you know, a, be a, a bare neckline is always beautiful, but if you have that solid dress, I think punch it up with a beautiful statement piece, Definitely. and then you don't even notice the dress anymore. It's yeah. kind of like all about that special piece of jewelry. Well, we can definitely take this advice for sure, all of you readers and watchers. And I think, you know, with the VMAs coming up, I'm sure you're going to be able to utilize a lot of these pieces. Absolutely. So we hopefully we'll see them on the red carpet. Definitely. So thanks so much, Alana. We appreciate you coming in. Pleasure. Thank you, Justin.